All right, so here we go. Question number one is, when are we going home? Mm. Now, whoever wrote this question was hopefully talking about going to heaven and was not asking when they could leave uh, you to go home, okay? Hopefully, all right? And so, and either way, I'm sticking with the first answer, all right? And so the answer is, I don't know. No one does, all right? Matthew 24, verse 36 through 44 says, Now concerning that day and hour, no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son. Jesus himself doesn't know, except the Father alone. As the days of Noah were, so the coming of the Son of Man will be. For in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah boarded the ark. They didn't know the flood came and swept. Or they didn't know until the flood came and swept them all away. This is the way that the Son of Man will be coming. Then two men will be in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding grain in the with the handmill, and one will be taken and one will be left. Therefore, be alert, since you don't since you don't know what day your Lord is coming. But know this, if the homeowner had known what time the thief was coming, he would have stayed alert and not let his house be broken into. This is why you are also to be ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not expect. Cool? So listen, we don't know. Nobody knows. Not even Jesus Christ himself. Only God the Father knows. But I will tell you what I do know. Also in Matthew 24, Jesus tells us what signs and uh, what things are going to be happening as we get closer to that time. And so Matthew 24, verse 6 through 14, it says, And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Tiana sang about that for fine arts this year. All these, all these are but the beginnings of the birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. And that last verse is what I wanted to focus on tonight, okay? So there will come a point when the gospel will be spread throughout the entire world. And that is when the end will come. Only then, all right? Which is why I have been encouraging you guys to share the truth of God's words with your friends. So I've been telling you this as well. God is a just God. God is a fair God, and he's a God who loves us. And so God is not going to come before people in third world countries or across the world can get to know him, right? And so he wants everybody to have a chance, which is why it is so important. And so the end will not come until we share the gospel with all nations. And that is why Speed the Light is so important. Yes, our money this year is to go dig uh, water wells in third world countries. But when those missionaries dig the wells, that will create an opportunity for them to share the gospel with those people, right? Right. They'll be more, uh, they'll be more willing to listen to what they have to say because they've given them water. And so we have a responsibility to share this word. As Christians, we are called and commanded. We must share this gospel with the world. And, I, and that call, I believe, is twofold. So number one, we must share the gospel ourselves. And then number two, we must help others share the gospel. And so uh, to expound on that, so if you can't go to third world countries and share the gospel with all those people, then you need to be willing to give money or resources to those people so that the ones that are willing to go can do that, right? It ain't free. Plane tickets aren't free. Cars aren't free. Mm -hmm. Digging water wells is not free, right? And so that is why we do what we do. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right.